A very big hello to all my wonderful KCD champions out there. My dearest children, hope you are doing good. So, yes, you might be busy with the option entry and it's totally okay to be busy. Okay, you have to research for your college and everything. And we are here to help you in this particular process because we have a tool that would be helping you well. So, I know it's a very tedious process, it's a very long process, my dear children. And to make it easy, there's a tool about which all of you might have already got to know because I should have ma'am did a video, even I did a video on it but if at all you do not know there is a tool the link would be given in the description box my dear children and in that link what all you can find you can find all the documents that you would be needing for a proper option entry that is the course code the college code the previous year cutoff and everything out there along with that comes this particular tool so if you have not seen it please see it right now click on the link and you would be able to see all this thing now towards the left side you will be able to see something like KCET rank based excel sheet okay so this excel sheet is actually the tool and I am going to tell you how you can make use of it okay how does it work entirely so first thing please do not send us request edits okay for example access request we, uh, there is no need for you to do that rather one thing that you can do, do is that do a right click and please download it in your computers okay do not worry it does not have any viruses and things like that you can download it in your computer so this was majorly designed for us but now you it is for you guys also okay so you can download it and once you download it it's it will be visible in your download section my dear children you click on that you open that and obviously when something foreign comes in your computer would be alerting it that is protected view be careful files from the internet can contain viruses unless you unless you need to edit it's safer to stay in protected view and then there is an option to enable editing so you have to click on enable editing once you click on that again a security risk would be popping up so it happens in everyone's computer even mine which is why i have taken the screenshot so Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted. This also comes up. Now ma'am what we can do basically please close the file that is there. Okay whatever file was open you clicked on enable editing right. You please close the file and you go to the place where it is getting it has got downloaded. Okay so you you have this thing now. You please do the right click on this. Okay do right click on this. Click on properties when you do right click there will be a list of things popping up if you click on properties it would be coming up something like this now over here my dear children you would be able to see the security thing this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer but we do not want this protection so for that we would have to click on the unblock thing so have a tick on this checker box that is unblocked and once you do on do that what happens you have to click on ok okay and then what do you have to do you have to reopen the file that you have closed once you do that my dear children where is it yeah once you do that what will happen you will be getting the whole thing which should be accessible to you guys still something would be visible it's totally fine you can put down your things out here so what are the things that you can put down your rank whatever your rank is there select the category that you fall into you do not know your category or basically the code for your category you can look over here itself okay then what you have to do is that you have to enter the branch of your choice whatever branch is there for example cs or information science whatever is there biotechnology you can uh, click on uh, this particular thing and put down the course as well now here i have a video where i am doing this so that it becomes all the more clear for you guys so can i zoom this in a bit and show you no okay then you see it like this so first thing that i'm going to do is put the rank so I'm just going to put rank 1 because in that way all the colleges would be visible. Okay. So it's okay for you also. You can click on rank 1 and then I clicked on general merit and now I'm looking for the courses. So there are n number of courses along with the college, uh, sorry, course code. I am going with computers, computer science. Okay. And now click on view results. There will be n number of colleges. Okay. With computers and also their cutoff rank would also be visible to you guys. What is this cutoff rank? This is for the year 2024, the previous year. The last round cutoff will be visible and it will be, uh, what do you call, in the order of, just a second, yeah, in the order of what? Uh, numbers, for example, the uh, lowest cut, sorry, the highest cutoff would be at the top and then the lowest. So the top colleges would be at the top and then comes the other colleges out there. 
I hope you got it. So once more I am telling you, you put down the rank, it's always better to put one rank itself and that way you can see all the colleges. Okay, if at all you do not want to put one rank, then whatever your rank is, you can put it like that as well. Okay, and then you click on your, uh, what do you call, category and then you choose the branch that you want. You, get, you click on results, you will get all the colleges out there. Now my dear children, the next thing that you can do is, if you want to see multiple branches at the same time, what was their cutoff? You click on any branch over here. Okay, you get an option to click on any branch and then click on view results. Now what will happen? Everything pops up, even including architecture. But do we want that? No. So we click on this particular thing that is here. Okay, you see, if you click on that, something like this will be popping up where everything is selected. Please deselect it. You have an option to deselect all. Okay, so select all, there is a tick on that. If you click on that, it will be deselected. I will tell you how it looks. Somehow it is not uh, mentioned over here. So I will tell you how it looks. So there is something like this. Select all and there is a box with a tick. Okay, so what you have to do? You have to remove this tick from here. So all of them would be unselected. Okay, deselected. And then you can select whatever course you are looking forward for. So over here, just for your understanding, I'll zoom it and show. There is artificial intelligence, AM, that is B-Tech in AM, uh, and then architecture, automotive engineering, automobile, and whatever is there, whatever course you want, you can click on that. Over here, you have the course code as well. Okay, and then click on OK. So here, I am going to choose three courses. I think it was computer science and engineering, B-Tech in computer science and engineering, and also CS in cyber security. So over here, I'm going to click on all these courses and then I will be clicking on OK. Okay. So why I am not showing it to you in live is that sometimes uh, network might not be that great. It might get stuck. I do not want that lag to happen. Now you see what has happened. Over here, ay -ay where is it? Just a second. Just a like, second my champions. Can it go like this? Yes. Okay, it happens. I wanted to show you something, but I think I cannot zoom in. Anyways, can I zoom in? I'll try once, I'll tell you once and then I'll zoom in, okay? If it all it goes off. So RV College of Engineering here, computers is there, cyber security is also there, so which is why both of them are mentioned together, okay? So in that way, you can also see all your courses and colleges. It's not visible. So that's all, my dear children. That's how it works. But I want you to have an attention. That is, the data included in this tool is of the year 2024. There are some courses which have been removed and some that have been added up this particular year. So those things would not be visible. Okay, so what you have to do, you would have to check for it. How do you check for it? As I told you, during option entry, you get an option to check for the courses and the college. If you click on the college over here, whatever courses are there, it would be mentioned to you in the form of the course code. Okay, so please, if at all you do not know what does the code stand for, go to courses section, you would be able to see what does CE stand for, what does CS stand for and everything. So you will get to know what all courses are available there. So this is just to make you have a rough, uh, what do you call, option entry list and it is going to help you really, really well. Okay, try it out for, uh, for once and do let us know. Okay, if at all you have any queries around it, you can please let us know. But I am telling you again and again, this is of 2024, last round cutoff, so extended round cutoff. So basically, please do your research for the additional college, sorry, additional courses, as well as the, uh, what do you call, deleted courses. It is, it is going to be very, very important for you guys. Okay, so I hope this particular tool helps. If you think it helps, okay, definitely let us know in the comment section about that. And please remember this very important thing, this particular tool is not compatible in your mobile phones so please do not try that okay and uh, please use a laptop or a desktop for the same purpose that will be so easy for you to find out the colleges and things like that i hope you remember that wishing you good luck lots of love bye bye